Andy and KJ here in Las Vegas, and I am not messing around. And I don't feel bad that I'm not sharing my umbrella. I don't want your umbrella. <laughs> Only but one cool customer here. Mm -mm. Overheating over here. And you know what? Things are about to get hot on Sunday, KJ. <laughs> as we know, the Canadians are playing for a trophy for the first time since 2000, where they actually were successful in winning uh, that trophy in Gold Cup. And uh, they're taking on the United States of America. And we've said this before. It was just a foregone conclusion that the Americans would always win that one. But now you could leave anybody guessing. Where do you, where do you feel Canada has closed the gap in taking on the Americans? Well, mentally, uh, mm. because they've had the reference points, right? They've had three big games of real meaning. Uh, the Gold Cup in 2021, where I thought they were the best team, uh, it was despite losing that early goal. And then, of course, the two World Cup qualifiers where they went unbeaten against the U.S. So mentally, they already know they belong with this team. There's not going to be major surprises. And, you, know, you know, that jump between hoping you can win and then knowing you can win is an enormous jump in the mentality of it. Where do we think the Canadians rank even tactically? We know they're banged up. We know that Alfonso Davies didn't start the last game. Alistair Johnson coming out early as well. Uh, Fonzie ended up getting subbed in in the 61st minute. Are we expecting the same starting 11? How do you think that's going to work for Herdman? Well, Alfonso Davies start, you know, came on and hit in his shift, his 30 minute shift. He started it and ended it well. It doesn't look like <laughs> yeah. there's had any issues with it. So I would expect him to start the game. Uh, so I think that's one change. Sam Kubi looked a little bit banged up and I think that would always be the plan. Um, a couple of other things I would look at is um, would Scott Kennedy necessarily get a chance mm -hmm. to play? I think defensively he brings something different to that team on that left hand side. He's coming off a good form and he's been very good for them in the last Nations League window. And the other one is the extra man in midfield. Is this a game for Jonathan Azorio? Mm -hmm. I think it probably is. You know, and someone's got to be sacrificed. Tejon Buchanan potentially, or Richie Larea in that. Because what I go back to, Andy, is that game in the Gold Cup where a lot of the times they played two men in midfield. But in that game, it was actually Piet and Fraser who played in midfield. And Akinola got hurt. Azorio came on in that game. And that extra man in midfield, they completely dominated the game. And I think that might have left a little bit of a few clues there uh, to see what Canada does. So I think maybe an extra man in midfield. And, and obviously, that would mean uh, one of the stars being missed out. They did dominate. And it was just unfortunate that they couldn't find the back of the net in that one. And uh, you're right. I mean, the depth on this team, because if you're talking about Scott Kennedy, I mean, Camille Miller, uh, Kamal, Kamal yeah. Miller, excuse me, had a brilliant game uh, against Pan. Anima. Where does this game rank for you? Even not even so much in, in the history, but I'm talking about in under John Herdman's tenure. Mm. Where does this game rank? Well, I think obviously, you know, it's the next big game, right? They obviously had to get to the World Cup. They had an, a number of monumental games during that game, during that World Cup qualifier. And anything you attach the World World Cup to mm. will always bring an intrinsic value higher because it's World Cup. You go to a World Cup that I'll say this. I think this will be their biggest game between now and the next World Cup. Gold Cups are a bit more of a peripheral now in terms of some players picking and choosing. They've got they have enough games to play. So, you know, winning a trophy, talking to some of these players, they know what that feels like at the club level is incredibly valuable for a group and they want something of meaning. Um, it's nice to win a World Cup qualifying group to go to a World Cup, but to be a true king, you need to have that trophy and wear that crown, as I said. So mm. I, I think that it, it makes it a really important game, Andy, and not one that they're going to have too many of now between now and 2026. The crown is there for the taking. Who will get it, Canada or USA? That match coming up on One Soccer. Atiba, we have so many memories of you representing Canada. Here you are playing for a trophy. And when we reminisce about your time with Canada soccer, we do go back to 2007, Gold Cup, playing against the United States. You get that tying goal. It gets called offside. That's how close you were to getting into a final, playing for a trophy. What do you remember about that moment and now coming full circle to being in a final and getting a chance to play for a trophy? Um, yeah, that was... a. Uh that was very heartbreaking for for all of us. You know, we were we were at a period where we were playing some good football, um, especially through the course of that tournament, and we felt like we had a team that, you know, could have won the whole thing. And uh, for them to have taken away that goal that you know that we scored, it hurt us. It hurt us a lot, and uh, you know, it stuck with us for a long time. Um, you know, and now uh, coming into this position, and we're you know right now in a final, and we have a chance to win a trophy. It's uh, something that I think we're all very, very, um, you know, proud of, of, you know, being in this position. But we want more. Uh, for us, it's not uh, satisfying just to be in the final. We want to win the whole thing. So, um, yeah, we've been just prepping as much as we can. Uh, last two days, so of a, sort of a recovery uh, sessions and um, just doing all the little things that we need to do to, to be ready for this game. So uh, it would be great if we can hold the trophy at the end of it. 
with Alistair Johnston, also known as the trophy lifter over the last few weeks, my friend. Like How's that been feeling? Uh, one more tomorrow? That'd be pretty good. That's a, that's a pretty good nickname, but <laughs> if I want to keep it going, I think I'm going to have to lift one tomorrow. Um, but yeah, no, it's been a good good first six months um, for myself over there in Scotland. But yeah, it would culminate a pretty good season if we could top it off with the Nations League trophy as well. Would it ever? So what have you learned since you flew to Scotland and you started playing in that environment, what it takes to win these finals because you've won them? Um, no, it's, it's a great point. I think that winning mentality is something that you need to learn. You need to experience it. You need to understand that, you know, those final matches, um, they are different. They're played, uh, they're played at a different speed. They're played with a different level of passion. And, and also at the end of the day is that you're going to look back on that match and you're not really going to care how you played. All that matters is that you got the results. And I think that as you get more and more experience in playing in these knockout competitions and, and lifting trophies, you kind of get that ruthless mentality that at the end of the day, you just want to walk off as the victor. Um, and that's something I've learned since being over in Scotland. They've drilled it into me, instilled it in me. Um, and I think now, you know, we look around this group, we've got it's plenty of players now that are lifting trophies. And that's really exciting that, you know, we can say that we almost kind of have that mentality, you know, slowly filtering in here. And, and again, um, as I was saying, you know, we're leading into this, this World Cup cycle 2026 where we want to be going into that World Cup, our home World Cup, feeling really confident that we can compete. And in order to have that confidence and not let it be arrogance or built on, you know, you know, just imaginations, you have to lift the trophies. So it, it starts here. This is a great opportunity for us. Um, there's going to be multiple more opportunities along the way building into 2026, but no better way to start than with this. One of my favorite things to do is always cover winners and see that look on their faces. Mm -hmm. What's that like when obviously you've experienced it now with Celtic, when you've come yeah in a league title or a cup competition and then you get to lift that trophy and celebrate with your teammates what's no, that it's, feeling like yeah it's it's exactly that. it's a drug that you just can't get enough of it really is and it's it reminds you why you play the sport you know why you started playing as a as a kid you know you did it because you for the love of the game but also because you love to win um and and you know once you've really you know you get the moment to lift that trophy it's the pre, that pure joy for that that kind of you know that evening, but then the next day already you kind of just have that itch again. I want to do it again. What's right. the next competition? So, I've learned that very quickly <laughs> at Celtic that you can't you can't rest in your laurels. You can't rest on that previous trophy. It's always the demand is always the next one. All right, let's get another one. Let's add another one to the trophy case. So it's been exciting to be in an environment like that where winning is you know it's a requirement. Um, it's a demand. It's expected. Um, and you know again. You know, we have players, Bayern Munich, Lille. Um, yeah. We'll see for how much longer at Lille. Um, but, you know, we got players. Celtic, in, yeah, big Celtic, club. Celtic, exactly. Let's throw in. We, got, we got plenty of clubs here that win trophies. And, yeah. you know, it's exciting to, to see so many guys who have that same mentality. It's like we got to win the next one and then on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. And I think that mentality is really going to go a long way for us. Quick couple more for you. How are you feeling? Because I don't know if you know this, but I think you played 112 games in the last two years. And I, I, I can't yeah. up. That's the same as Rodri at Man City who's just won a treble, mate. So you've been playing yeah. nonstop. I know you were taking off in the first game more for maintenance I think than anything else yeah but how are you feeling physically look I'm, I'm definitely I've definitely been feeling some things I actually um, I did my ankle pretty badly yeah. uh, about a month and a half ago against Rangers um, but you know I got a little bit of time off there just to mentally kind of reset going into the summer which was which almost helped um, but yeah you're not wrong it's been a long grueling couple years um, you know you have to throw a World Cup in there and do the whole 18 months from MLS right into the Scottish Premiership so yeah, it's been long, but at the same time, as I'm a footballer, I love it, you know. And at the end of the day, is there's so many players here who have played a lot of minutes, and there's just a lot of miles in the legs. Yeah. But it's a final, and I think that everyone can push through some pain barriers to get there. So, yeah, it was going to take quite a bit for me um, to not make myself available for this match. So I think, yeah, we got a lot of guys I know on this team that are fighting through some things, but everyone's, you know just going to give it all, get through anything possible to, to be a part of this. You earned that ice bath today, that's for sure. Yes. Tomorrow you want to earn a celebration bath, right, yes. in terms of that champagne bath. What would it mean for you to win this with this team? Oh, it's it's something special. There's one thing to win trophies with your club, but to do it with your country, um, it's something that I've never experienced. It's something that not a lot of players for Canada have experienced. Right. Um, and, you know, we've obviously we've seen the women's national team do that. Um, and now we feel like it's our turn to, you know, start bringing some silverware back um, to our fan base back home and really prove not just to ourselves, but to the rest of the people in Canada, the rest of the people in the world that, you know, we are a footballing nation. I think, again, we took steps qualifying for the World Cup. Um, but now it's really time to show that that we really do belong. And that's that's all about winning trophies at the end of the day. This team is here because of evolution of players like you. Congrats, man. You should be Thank really you. proud of yourself. You're one of the faces of this team. Definitely. All the best tomorrow. Thank appreciate you, you. I appreciate you. Thank you. We know the storylines as well in the past when Canada would take on the USA it was a foregone conclusion uh, of course the Americans are going to win but we know what you've been able to do against them especially in World Cup qualifying what is the mentality in the group when now you do take on the Americans 
Yeah, we know it's going to be a dogfight. I think we both we both have great teams now. We've we've we built built in the last few years, um, but we know they're hungry to get us back. So it's they're not just going to lay down. Uh, we're going to have to earn this one. With Ismail Coney. Now, some Canadians come to Vegas to celebrate their 21st birthday and have a party. You come here to win a final. <laughs> How are you feeling ahead of this one? Yeah, it is crazy. It is crazy. But as my birthday, blessed to be here with a group of guys and obviously blessed to uh, get a gift like this, you know, a trophy with, with my group. So, you know, it's a true blessing, to be honest. The team seems very relaxed. What's the feeling? You're always relaxed, I know that. But what's the team feeling in the, in the final training session ahead of a, a, a monumental game, let's be honest? Yeah, you know, I think this team, we've been, we've been through those phases. I think we, you know, we play those games where, like, you know, the atmosphere is going to be hot, the, the game is going to be challenging, but we're up for it. This is why we're so relaxed, because, you know, we've been through those moments and we already passed it, so in the qualifiers and so on, so on. So, you know, it's, um, we see it like there's a opportunity for us to lift a trophy finally, you know, because we have a lot of uh, good players that come in, do well for the country, but they don't lift trophies, you know, and they leave unremembered. Yeah. And I think that's unfair and for us to to take that step and find a little trophy for Canada, I think that would be very nice. You know this, midfield is often the, w the way you can win the game, particularly in finals. What's it going to take for you, Stefan Stacchio, whoever else plays in midfield? Well, what's, the, what's the messaging from the staff to get it right in midfield against this US team? No, I think we have to, like Coach said, we have to set up platforms. We have to set up platforms and, uh, you know, it's like you said, a game is when, most of the game is win in the middle of the park and we have to be aggressive, we have to win duels, we have to make sure that they feel our presence from the first whistle to the last one. And uh, they're going to come too, they have good midfielders and we're ready for it. And like I said, it's a challenge, but it's an opportunity for us too. And um, yeah, we, I think, it's, like I said, we have to be aggressive and make them feel like we're ready. Final one for you, you allowed yourself to think about that, lifting a trophy, celebrating course, with this team? Of course, of course. Dreaming, this, dreaming about it tonight? Yeah, 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 most definitely, man. This And like I said, it would be a great gift for me, so I've been thinking about it since the beginning of camp. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. There's going to be a great gift, and hopefully we do so. Well, you've become a massive part of the team as well, so congratulations on that and all Thank the best you. against the Appreciate US. It. Thank Appreciate you. Man. Thank you. Thank you.